Welcome back. Well, more and more households, of course, have wireless networks inside their homes. Yes. How can you keep your signal safe? Here to tell us about it is Stan Prager from Go Geeks in East Long Meadow. Thank you so much for being here, as always. Thank you for having me, as usual. It's great to be here on Fridays. This is the best part of our week. For, first of all, you know what you're talking about. As I mentioned, you're a sharp guy with computers. It's Friday. Everything's good. All right, so we all have a wireless network. Do you have a wireless network at home? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. This I think is, most people do at this point, right? Yeah, it can be trouble, right? Yeah. Well, here's the issue. In all, there's a common thread to a lot of the stories that you guys have talked about over the course of the week on the station about uh, things being hacked. You know, uh, and, and one of the, those issues is that if you have something that's Wi-Fi enabled, like the Wi-Fi Barbie, for instance, that, 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 that was played earlier, if you have something like that, that can get hacked into. Um, a, uh, a light bulb that is uh, a smart light bulb that you can use, that you can control with your, with your iPhone or your Wi-Fi, that can get hacked That's into. That's crazy, you don't so, even think about those things. You don't, but what you do should think about is your network. So all these things, what do they have in common? Your iPad, your, your laptop, your computer, your Barbie, all these things, your light bulb, they all work around this network. So you need to secure that network, and the way you need to secure that network is make sure you've got a good password on it, number one. Don't use the password that came with the router. <laughs> That's the key. Change it up a little bit, right? Change the password. Also critical is that uh, you should put a password on the router. Most people don't have their router professionally installed. They just kind of buy it from Staples or Best Buy and plug it in and yeah. use it, right? And so what happens is, is that the, the, the generic name is on it. It says Netgear or Linksys, which is really easy to tack, hack into, and it has a default password which is like admin or password right. or Most folks like are lazy that. to do anything. Uh, now, I have the TV. I'm afraid to check my email on my TV. I have one of those TVs that is, you know, a smart TV, so you can, has, it's for right. a web browser, so I'm afraid right. to access my web mail on my TV because that now can lead to hacking, and I don't want people looking at me through my television. It should be a one-way thing, shouldn't it? Well, that's true, but that, the, you, don't, you don't have one of those new 2-8 TVs yet, right? So, well, I don't know. Yeah. It's got all kinds of stuff on it. I'm just I'm paranoid, but it's connected to the wireless <laughs> you network. Don't know these days. I don't know who's watching me through my TV. So your TV... <laughs> well, that, that's, a whole, that's a whole separate issue, Tom. I'm not sure <laughs> if we can I address got medication. that today. It's but, hopefully yeah. helpful, that paranoia. But. No, but, but, but all kidding aside, um, your TV is on your wireless network. Yes. Okay? So it's all about the security of your wireless network. The TV is no more or less secure than your phone or your laptop or anything else that's on that wireless network. So that's the key. If you have a, a strong password on your wireless network and it has a unique name. My then, password is Stan Prager. Well, that's, no one will guess that. Okay. So you're All good. Right. good. No one will get that. But that's, but that's the issue. For someone to actually break in, do they have to get your password correct or are there other ways to kind of go around it and maneuver? They yeah. have to get your password correct and they can do that with various different types of hacking software. Like right. if, you're, if your computer doesn't have good security on it also, we've talked about that in the past, or you don't have a quality firewall installed on your computer. It's easier they to can, get they in can break, Right. They can penetrate out. your system and then get a hold of your Wi-Fi password. It still amazes me when you call up your, your, your network and the list of networks that how many people don't have the padlock next to their their uh, that's amazing i see six or seven options in my area and yeah. some of them don't have the padlock it's like are you serious oh, really? I yeah, right. that was a some people yeah. don't have secure networks exactly so if there's no and that's an excellent point that you brought up if you do not have the if the padlock doesn't show up in the list of networks then that's not a secure network which means all you have to do is click on it and join it so anybody can get in now in most cases nefarious criminals aren't trying to get in in most cases it's just your neighbor trying to steal your bandwidth right, right? right. but but why would you want to let your right. neighbor steal your bandwidth but but there are cases where criminals are trying to get in and there's a perfect way there's yeah. a perfect gateway all right stan oh, nice. thank you so much stan prager from go geeks always our guy this week you've been very busy for us we I appreciate to change it change my password now you should i haven't done that yet since you i got my router get on